This is My Randomology, and today we're going to find out how high the body count can go. Fear Street 1978. Part 1 came out last week. I enjoyed it so much. I wouldn't say it was a scary movie, but it was definitely a horror movie. And it was paying homage to a lot of um, early 90s, 80s, some 70s uh, uh, horror movies, definitely. That intro sequence was very much an homage to Scream, right? Um, so just, it set up a lot of story. The idea of of, of the witch, of, uh, of Shady Side and Sunny... Ville? Dale? I forgot. I already forgot what it was called. Anyway, so yeah, this rivalry between the two the two towns, the history behind them, the the idea that Shady Side is always um, in the grip of a mass murder or something happening to the people there, tied to this witch from the seven seventeen seventeenth century, sixteen hundreds. Um, the the sheriff apparently knows what's going on. Um, this, uh, this woman who survived the massacre from the first camp also knows what's going on. I saw the trailer for this part. It looks like the sheriff actually was there. There was a character there that I think was supposed to be him, younger. Um, and I'm very curious, and I mentioned this in the first episode, how they're going to keep tension when we know from the first movie that there's only one survivor. Uh, C something. I already forgot what her last name was. So we know that she's going to be the survivor. We saw a photo of her in kind of the epilogue. So we know what she looks like. So everybody else is going to be dead. So we know, I mean, it's a horror movie, so we expect a high body count. And this movie looks like it's going to take uh, some inspiration from, um, uh, you know, uh, 80s, 70s movies. Definitely Friday the 13th. That's the first thing that came to mind. Uh, the Axeman, um, from, that was, we saw the kind of the revenant version in the first movie apparently this is where it's going to be the flesh and blood version so it's like we're doing jason in reverse um looks like there's also uh things like don't go into the woods uh the burning um maybe i don't know maybe a little bit of texas chain so I, I i don't know but if we're going back if we're going with the homages to horror i am looking forward to seeing what those are going to look like but again i'm 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 very curious how we're going to have tension we know as, as a horror movie that people are going to die. That's kind of a given. But we know there's only one survivor this time around. So, And we know who it is. We know who the final girl is going to be. So I want to see how all this ties into the first movie. I want to see how the writing is going to kind of pull off this little trick. Um, and I want to see how it's going to set up the third part, which will be Fear Street 1666. Subtle. Um, nothing else to say. I got my tea, microphone, lights all set. Let's get to the movie. Tragedy struck again. You gotta be more specific because we have two mass murders. That scene in the grocery store was pretty badass, too. There was one survivor, C. Berman. C. Berman, that's her name. The key. Yeah. I'm amazed she managed to subdue her with a stab to the gut. <laughs> Eerie music. Right? Eerie Indiana. Anybody remember that show? As one does. Why all the clocks? I'm more than sure we're going to get the answer to that question. Oh, look, my college lunch. David. Okay. Well, this also does confirm that the note that the sheriff left was actually for her, so... So he was at the camp, but he wasn't part of the massacre at the camp. He might be the one that resurrected her. Why the hell would you come here? Well, your name's in the phone book, clearly, so... You need to leave. What was different? Please. Maybe something happened to you. Something that can help us stop her. There's not. You can't stop her. Run, far as you can, fast as you can. That is your only chance. And yet you've stayed in town. You're listed in the phone book. You clearly go out for groceries. So no, I'm with Dina on this. What did you do differently? 
she's tied up in the bathroom, so she, like, totally can't leave now. We're cool. Yep, cool. 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 That's not gonna be disconcerting. I love these titles, by the way. Okay, we're we're starting off here. All right. Now hold your legs. Seriously, Sheila, do it. Okay, so Sheila is. Uh, I'm hoping gonna get it really, really badly. Look, we kick her out. Somebody's gonna ask about the burn on her arm. And then who's in trouble? Huh? Why don't we just let this one slide? Yeah. All right. One more strike, and you're. Is there an actual the adult in this camp? One more. Yeah, I really hope none of the kids kids get hurt, but can't tell with this series yet. Because I was really hoping that um, there were going to be a few more survivors last one, and uh, clearly that wasn't the case. Gosh darned. Oh, that's okay. That's Cindy. Okay. I'm getting such Friday the 13th vibes from this already. And again, just like the last one, I'm going to have to mute so much of the soundtrack. Oh, or they can turn it off for me. What are you doing? Flying the space shuttle. What do you think they're doing? What are you doing? Feeding the homeless? Like what? Cindy Berman, that smell better be skunk. What about my sister? Better Hello? be skunk. Eli. She was in another horror movie called Eli. It's on Netflix. Um, she was younger though. It was, it was like it was like maybe two years ago. Not a bad movie actually. If you if you want to want a good one, check it out. More atmospheric than anything. A couple good scares. What? So, um, what's the witch's mark? That's what you're going to lead into that conversation, just... You know about my daughter, right? Ruby Lane? Oh my god, that's right. Her daughter was the, uh, one of the killers. Tell me, what did they say? Just trying to figure out where I'd heard the last name Lane in this, uh, Ruby was series. Such a... oh, she had a sweet voice. She was in choir. She wanted to be a singer. Hey, I was in choir, too. Sometimes killing isn't murder. Sometimes it's not. You're saying it's kind of hurting me? Sometimes it is good. You're slain! I'm gonna go and guess they don't do background checks at this camp. Tommy, is that you? Billy? Tiff? Some other generic white name that these movies usually use? Tommy? I am curious who the, uh, the Axeman is. Like, it's... I mean, it's not a dead person at this point, so... It's someone who gets possessed. I saw your name. I saw it on the wall. What? One way or another, you're gonna die tonight. I saw your name on the wall. Look, that wall that the witch has? Is he gonna be the X-Men? So, does an attempted at murder at a camp filled with kids usually... You. you know early closure or something drugs are peaceful not violent well tell that somebody on PCP about marijuana Dicks! Dicks! Listen up! we had a scary situation earlier but we cannot let that mess with the most important night of our summer oh my god he's that he's that guy Sunny at camp shady side it is red versus blue it is good see you can't even say it since dad left since mom started drinking, since we're going to lose the house, and it's not gonna magically get better. <laughs> and saving up all summer to buy a super cute polo shirt? Can't hide that. Trying to explain why nice old Nurse Lane almost lost it today? Can't either. We're all cursed. For Mary, it was today. But someday, it'll be you. And this whole fake bullshit life of yours is gonna come crashing down. That's a horrible thing to say. Now, please tell us how you really feel. It's true. Carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Play your weary... You know, it's almost like we're getting confirmation that this, in fact, will be a very supernatural movie. I get it. 
He's a fan. A fan. Yeah. You're a fan. Do not let them anywhere near this. Do you hear me? Yeah! This is his peak right here. This is where this guy just peaked. And if he survives this, he's going to be talking about that great summer at Nightwing for the next 20 years. Let me tell you something. I haven't even begun to peak. And when I do peak, you'll know. Because I'm going to peak so hard that everybody in Philadelphia is going to feel it. Uh, is he already getting possessed? Tommy. Oh, that was cool. So what exactly are we looking for? A plot point? Answers. Oh, I got it. It doesn't matter, all right? When she is near, blood will fall. And the curse will last until body and hand unite. Alice, it's Mary's diary. Let's put it back. Oh, so what? Not you got to put the body the back together? L four A four. Sounds familiar. Ooh, Dex, maybe. You know, it sounds fun. So you know, which is how it's high on Dex. Oh yes, it does. <laughs> oh jeez. Tommy. This looks like it was a uh, uh, day for night Tommy. shooting. So. They took so it's an old trick they used to use to uh, make it look like night when it's actually daytime uh, filters that sort of thing I don't think it gets used a lot anymore last place I saw it used was I think Fury Road nature's gross yeah but I still don't feel shit okay so take more oh wow yeah these are these are clearly people you want taking care of children Billy? Where is Alice? Billy? I don't know why Billy's just the name that comes in my head whenever I see one of these things, like somebody looking for somebody else. <laughs> I have a, a ring light on my face right now, so this is really dark and I'm trying to make out what's going on. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't let the uh, the person Recently. high on something take point in this. Hey, Sarah, Fear, if you're in here, say something. Oh, good. It's an episode of Ghost Adventures now. <laughs> oh, it's this place. That's it. It's acetaminophen. Arnie, what are you talking about? L four A four. It, it just hit me. It's it's fucking Tylenol. Pause it. Oof. Our uh, our man here is not looking too hot. We are out of here. Let's go, man. Yeah, he's out of there too. Ever here on that? That's for sure. Yep, there are the flies. Tommy. Ooh. What the hell are you doing, man? Oh. oh things have taken a turn he can't, he can't get it he can't get it yeah but he can get a lot of other people <laughs> that was better than pig's blood or paint god time is going to show up she's right in there and it's going to be just above <laughs> Nick good nice to meet you I'll be in the next movie. You're going to be dead by the end of this one. Because we can't. Or we're going to die down here. Just like Arnie. No, not like Arnie. Arnie went quickly. You might starve or maybe dehydration will get you. We have to get out. We have to. Those names on the wall. They didn't stop with one murder. 
seven, nine, ten, fifteen people. Those were serial killers. No, mass murderers, technically. It's also a map. So what, like, like the witch made this fucking place? Or the settlers just claimed she did? It d doesn't matter. All that matters is this simple as It's a map. Yay, now we can join the massacre. Cool. Yeah, I just thought, you know, since since we're all in here and uh, in jail, just, that you might want some refreshments. Drop but, it. Uh, they have no interest in talking. We can, uh, we can we, uh, well, we can play a game. Do you guys like a... Uh, Guys like Shut the fuck up, nerd. Okay, I take no, it back. Okay. Some of the kids can die. Um. Oh no. Call me? Oh no. There was a time when things were good between us. But then the Fire Nation attacked. And everything turns to shit eventually. In that Pepto Bismol but slogan. I expect a sunny Before he died, my dad loaded me up with all this, you know, you're my legacy. The future of the family depends on you shit. You know, he just dropped this huge burden in my lap. You know, instead of saying, I love you, son, I'm proud of you. What if that's not a Why not? You know, campers are getting murdered out there. One of you might want to go check on that. Tommy. Tommy was sweet. He made me feel like... Tommy Jarvis. Uh, the, the name's a reference to the kid that actually killed Jason. And this guy is like the Fear Street version of Jason. Okay, I get it. If it wasn't intentional, it's, it's, a, it's a heck of a coincidence. Do you hear that? Oh, can they hear me? There's all roads lead here. Is there any other way? Where's St. Louis? Let's get out of here. Oh, good. They're in Silent Hill now. Why would you touch it? So I guess the Tylenol kicked in? I'm sure they heard the bell. Hey, hey. But my sister, she's still out there. You have the same sister you've hated since you were a baby? Look. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Me and Gary will go. What? <laughs> Stay here. No, I, I can't go. Look, you make for cabin one. I'll head to nine. What if, the, what if the killer's still out there? That's the whole point, Gary. <laughs> Everybody? Nick! Nick, we forgot Sheila! <laughs> well, couldn't that happen to a nicer girl? Kurt! Alice! Billy? Did you tell anyone about this? And you're dead. You hear me? I got a feeling they're both dead anyway. I told myself if I was perfect, if I did everything right, I could beat it. I snitched on you. I got new friends. I started dressing like this. It was a good setup, like uh, this, the especially based on the first movie. I, I do wish we'd seen a little bit more of these two. Like, I don't know. I, I feel I feel like it was a little underdeveloped. Still nice though. <laughs> What's going, what's going on in here? What the fuck? Knocked her out with a punch? Hey, nice, everyone, Ziggy. Mess, so I just... Are the phone lines cut too? Does this place have a phone? Are there adults hey, anywhere near? I came out of the bathroom. She was just dead. In 15 minutes, ring the bell. You ring the bell. That's the signal. You're gonna get him on the bus. You're gonna get him out of here. All right? You hear me? Just go! Go, Kurt! 
Man, Jimmy and Curtis only have to deal with like two kids. These guys have like what, forty something kids to take care of. I do like the weirdo from Shady Side. Oh. I was thinking that maybe once we got out of this, we could uh, we could start a book club or something. Maybe. Uh, Nerd. I don't know Stephen King's new one's supposed to be good. I hear. I think I'm done with King. Judy Bloom for me from now on. Ah. <laughs> yeah, uh, Can you believe me, right? About the curse. Well, he will eventually. It's probably going to require a lot of trauma for them to get there. Come on, we gotta get out of here. When she is near, blood will fall. Her hand laid arrest atop Satan's stone. Is that what the nosebleeds meant in the first one too? That they were getting close. So I was wondering about those nosebleeds that uh, Sam and Dina were getting in the first one, that just seemed to come uh, come out of nowhere. I'm also curious about that tree that the witch apparently was uh, hanged from. It, I remember there was a huge tree in the middle of the mall in the very first scene of the first movie. So was the mall built around that tree or what was going on? Well, there's the sack. Why does he keep it on? Oof. Well, good thing the mask was on. Or sack. I don't think that killed him. Uh, moving along, Psycho's still on the ground. He's gonna totally Michael Myers and, um... I know that you just needed me all this time buried under the moss and I found it. My hand. I fucking found it. Found what? Three guesses. Oh, I'm surprised all the bones are still connected. <sighs> it's not gonna work. I know it's not gonna work. Uh, is this gonna be Tommy 2.0? Yep. For Shady's. How long is it going to take the cops to get here? This place cannot be that far out of town. That should do it, one hopes. Oh no. What is that? Oh. Right, so this is kind of the backup plan whenever she needs to take someone out, she... Yeah. Cindy, what does it mean? Cindy, I don't know. Where, where is she? Where's the blood? They know. moved it. You bled on the bone. They're after you. Get ready to run. No, Cindy, no! 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 It's nice of him to not actually hack her to pieces. I am amazed she survived that.
Seriously, she's got to have like July nineteenth, nineteen broken ribs and everything. Five thousand nine hundred and thirty-seven days ago, my sister was dead, and so was I. There, though? Really, an alarm clock got me. Jeez. Like, what happened to Camp Nightwing? Is the hand bone still there? Is it still buried underneath the hanging tree? <laughs> I called it! Oh, there was a shot of the tree in that first episode. I remember it. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Hmm. A cop in a horror movie that's not entirely useless. Alright. I got you. You witch. No. <laughs> All right. Okay, good. Fear Street 1978. Let's talk about it. I am really happy with the way the series is uh, progressing, the way everything kind of ties in together. Um, some of the stuff that was hinted at in the first movie definitely paid off in the second one. The the sheriff's role in it, the the twist of which sister was uh, was which uh, was which with which, 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 the twist of which sister was which. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Anyway, yeah, th that little twist at the end of which one was the one that was going to to die, uh, and the fact that Ziggy wasn't actually her her real. I mean, Ziggy's a nickname. Nobody names their kid Ziggy, do they? I don't know. Frank Zappa might, but um, that was interesting. I mean, because the whole time you're rooting for not, well, you're rooting, I was rooting for both of them, but just kind of that realization at the end that there's a lot more here than. Um, than 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 we think uh it was it was good it was it was really really good it reminded me actually of a movie called frailty uh with bill paxton um that had a, a spoiler uh it had a, a similar twist at the end where you saw the flashbacks with two siblings and it turns out that the sibling you thought you were following wasn't the one who was telling the story sorry if i spoiled that movie for anybody but uh yeah, no, so, yes, now, and I called a couple things, the tree in the mall, I thought that, I thought it was weird that we kind of focused on it a little too much, um, so I did call that, I'm happy with myself on that, on that front. I, I, I am curious now, it can't be as simple as just putting the hand back with the bones, there has to be something else, the fact that Dina is kind of mentally now seeing what Sarah Fear went through, I do have the question of, you know, is this a Nightmare on Elm Street remake kind of situation where Sarah Fear is now the monster, but there's going to be the question of, did she actually do the things that she's being accused of? It would be too cliche if she was. So I'm hoping that they do a thing where it's shown, it's hinted at, that she... I mean, it's a witch trial. I mean, there's a reason that you call it, you know, so it's a witch hunt. Um, so I'm, I'm curious to see how they do that. They definitely kept the tension um, here. Uh, that that actually worked. 
Some of the dialogue and the way that was presented about the only survivor was somewhat misleading. I mean, it was the only survivor left in the camp. They did evacuate a bunch of the kids, so. I don't know. Uh, that was that was a. I don't want to say cheap. It, it was it was a little misleading, but in a in a kind of awkward. <sighs> God, my eyes are red. It's late. All right. I liked it. A flat A, flat A. There were a couple things that that didn't quite work for me, but overall, this was this was a good watch it what it really was and i'm very excited to see how the how the the, the third part kind of wraps things up maybe not wrap it up i'm pretty sure they're going to leave it open for uh, for other future films or just to leave it open and see you know what the audience thinks so if you liked what you're watching right now you can go ahead and click that patreon link down uh, in the description below you can take part in polls tell me what to watch next you can have actual input into how this channel progresses and the more people sign up the more i can do here the more i can give you all so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time